welcome to the next session on ansys workbench tutorials in this session we are taking up yet another design of disk brake rotor we are going to design it using design modeler of ansys workbench we will start by double clicking on geometry this is how the disk brake rotor is going to look like so this is what we are going to design in this session we will go to geometry right click new design modeler geometry units millimeter xy plane look at i'll go to sketching I'll choose a circle. I'll give it dimension. One eighty mm. Next, I'll go to modeling extrude. I'll choose the sketch one. I'll add material of 16 mm. Generate. Next, I will choose the space. I'll create a new plane. Generate. Look at. I'll go to sketching and choose circle. I'll give it dimension again. Hundred mm. Again, I'll go to extrude. I will add material of ten mm. Generate. Now again, I'm going to create a plane on this face. So I'll select this face. New plane. Generate. Look at. I'll go to sketching. I'll choose a circle. I'll give it dimension. Sixty mm. Again, I'll go to extrude, but this time I'm not going to extrude by adding material. This time I'm going to cut material. And it is going to be through and through hole. So through all, you can see here, generate. Next, I will select this face, and here I am going to make a new sketch. So I select this face, new sketch. You can see here. On this sketch, I'll start by drawing a circle. I'll give it dimensions. Twelve mm. Also, I'll give this vertical dimension between the center of circle and this point. Since this circle is sixty and this is hundred, the average between the two is eighty. So I'm choosing this vertical height as half radius forty. Now again, I'll go back to modeling extrude. The sketch has got selected. I'm going to extrude cut. So I'll select through all generate. Now I want to create few more circles here. So I'll go to create. I'll choose pattern. I'll change linear to circular. Geometry is this circle. So I'll select face, select the circle, apply. For axis, either you can choose this axis, evenly spaced. I want to have six circles. Generate. Now suppose if this doesn't get generated like this, what do we do is just delete it. Go for create pattern circular. 
select the circle now here do not select this axis what you can do is select this face apply and six of them to be generated so generate so this will be created now this is just some error of the software wherein this axis is not getting selected so it's absolutely all right you can just go for selecting of the face on which you want to create this pattern so this part is complete now i want to create some patterns internally so for that i will go to yz axis look at i am creating a sketch here of a rectangle so it was draw a rectangle i'll give dimensions also i want to find the distance between these two and this and this point so h3 is 90 because the outer circle is 180 h2 i'm choosing as 20 the vertical height is 8 and this gap is 4 so that it is equidistant from both the sides now once this has been created i'll go back to modeling I'll select revolve option. The currently created sketch is the one that I want to select, sketch 5. Apply. Again, axis should not create a problem. So I would directly select the space. Apply. I want to cut material. Angle is not 360 degree, it is 10 degree. And direction, I will choose both symmetric. Generate. So you can see here, this has been done. Now I want to give some fillet to it. So I'll go to blend, fixed radius. I'll give this value as 2mm. I'll select these corners by pressing the control button. Apply, generate. Now I want to create such kind of pattern all over the circle. So I'll go to create pattern circular. I'll select the faces that I want to create. So I'll be selecting all of them by pressing the control button. Apply. Axis again is the space apply evenly spaced. I'll create 16 such patterns. Generate. So you can see here this has been beautifully done. Now I just want to give another cut over here of a particular pattern. So I'll go to XY plane and I'll create a new sketch. I'll go to sketch 6, look at I'll go to sketching and I'll choose a circle. I will give it dimensions. This is 5mm. So once this is created, I'll go back to modeling, I'll select revolve, you can see the geometry has got selected, axis is again the space, apply, cut material, change angle to 360 degree, this is most important, generate. Now I just want to make one particular change here, that is this extrude. I will just change this to 20mm. So that it matches with this. Also you can see here there is some fillet created on these ends. So I can just create some fillet here. I will go to fixed radius 2mm, apply generate 
this looks good also i'll go to this face and make this to 1.25 generate so you can see the disc brake rotor as per this image has been created in the next three sessions we are going to analyze the disc brake rotor for its structural strength for its thermal analysis and also for the modal analysis of the disc brake rotor so with this i end the session i hope you have understood how to model a disc brake rotor using design modeler of ansys workbench if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you